guys are how are you guys doing cartoons? Hey man, um, this is what happened. Wait, this is what really happened. Every now and then, remember when they had um, um, Bart Simpson and stuff? You know, every now and then they would bust my chops and have me on Bart Simpson and stuff, and I would get mad and threaten the guys if I see him. And um, I took myself to totally too serious back then, you know. And, um, Of all professions, why are you detective? Detective? Yeah. I don't know if that's the job they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any input into the appearance of your character as it was drawn? No, no, no. I just know that um, when it was time to perform, I would do the best that I could do. I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not concerned about, I want to have some creative control, I want to be involved. Just give me a scenario and do the best. That's the kind of like, performer I am. I can't set up my own scenario. I just got to let it boom, give it to me. Do you have a catchphrase for every time a mystery comes through? No. Yeah, I think we're not working that. <laughs> regarding, the, uh, regarding the fact that uh, we were told by some of your castmates that you brought the idea to Warner Brothers, so what made you decide that you wanted to do an animated series as opposed to maybe like a live action show? Or, I mean, you had your one man show. Yeah. Um, I just want to try everything. I want to see um, how good I can be and the best I can be at what, I, what I'm doing. I, guess I want to do everything, you know? I want to do a musical. I want to do everything. I want to try to sing. It's going to be some horrible shit. <laughs> Are you going to sing the theme song? No. <laughs> I'm going to stay. I want to be a Broadway show. I'm going to stay. Well, can you sing us the theme song now? Is there words to it? Matter of fact, there is words. <laughs> what are they? I don't remember. <laughs> How does it feel to um, perform dialogue that's written for, uh, for you, that and the characters you? But um, do you feel like the writers have your voice down, or do you sometimes say, "I would never say something like this"? Hey, listen, um, if you're a professional, I'll make it work. Let's make it work. Anybody can say, "Well, I'm not going to do that. I want to do it where I'm satisfied." I'm very comfortable being uncomfortable. So I just go for it. Is that something improvising? I read it and um, sometimes the actor is improvising. But like I was saying, I just like I like I like to do it sometimes with a script. I like to do the best I can do with what I have. I can always, always change it, but I always like to, to see what I can do. I always like testing myself. I want to be a, a serious actor one day. Call me. We've heard that a lot of what you did uh, was you're very into your character, that when your character feels something, you feel something. Is that how you approach a lot of your actors? Very, um, you know, um, we said I'm very emotional. I do, you know, um, when I'm around the house, I'm very boring, I'm very excited to you know, have a chance to, um, to work and perform and um, really go for it. I'm not afraid to be a, a, a jerk or anything, you know, laugh at myself anymore. You've, you've reinvented yourself more than probably anyone else. I don't know, I don't know what I've reinvented. I just think um, in stages of my life I grow and I learn some mistakes and I grow up and stuff. I become more responsible. There's still stages of my life that I need to grow more on and stuff. And um, just more of my time, you know. It's not gonna happen overnight, but I'm still working on it. What's your uh, What's your mystery solving style? Are you kind of get it, get all the facts no, first, no, or no? I no. get my pigeon. <laughs> Someone wants to do some mystery solve. I go to the pigeon coop. I read the message. Then I get my team. My my, my, my I thought she was Chinese, but she's Korean stepdaughter. <laughs> and I get my ghost of um, the Marcus Queenberry. And then I get the pigeon. And then we, you know, we do a little brain. Do you love pigeons? Oh yeah, yeah that, that's something that's gone through your whole. Why do you love pigeons so much? What, what is it? Um, uh, I'm gonna explain it like this. Um, where I come from is like a culture, it's like a person that has horses or something. Everybody that I'm associated with in my neighborhood, everybody I know, we all have it. We all understand. We all have the same lingo. Um, we just know. My, most of my life is when I'm outside. I'm looking up. I'm looking up for hawks, I'm looking up for what kind of stray birds. That's just, that's the mentality that a pigeon, um, 
pigeon fly I have. Where are you guys? I'm sure you have some guy that flies birds. Cause someone knows. Everybody knows somebody that has pigeons. And um, that's just um, that's just who we are. That's just our life. We live our life, but. Um, we love our birds. We constantly look up because we always think it's a straight bird or the bird coming back. And that's just what it is. Do you have a certain bird that you miss that you've had in the past that you um, especially love? I like, I like rollers. Okay. I like rollers. Homers make the money, but I just love rollers. I love the rollers. They're, they're, they're a lot like me. Um, it's different kind of rollers. You may have watched... Um, um, Sir Anthony Hopkins, one of those things from the movie, and then he's in the cell. Uh, yeah, you notice in the movie, he said you don't mix two deep rollers together. You know, and um, you have to be a shallow one. And a deep. my mother and my father, and and, um, and metaphor for both deep rollers, you know. And when you mix two deep rollers, I'm 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 asking the deep roller. When you mix two deep rollers, they crash, they kill themselves. You know, they can't stop. They get into the roll, and they're in the roll so deep that they come to suction cup and they can't open up because they're going through fat and they smash in the ground. You know, and I'm I'm a. I'm like a, I'm a descendant from two um, deep rollers, but um, I learned not to crash, and that's my that's my metaphor. So they die, they die. They're like they're gonna die. I don't care um, what you do when you let them out. They may survive the fall, but when you let them out, they're gonna hit the floor. They're gonna die. That's what they're gonna do. Nothing's gonna stop, and they're gonna do that. So um, I learned not to be too reckless and not to hit the ground. One more question. Do you have a favorite mystery at the uh, episodes you've done so far? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what might that be, sir? Could you explain? Well, I won't be able to tell you though, but I promise. But once I tell you, then I'll come back at the end of the at the end of the show, and I'll tell you this is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done Genesis at karaoke? Genesis. Have you ever done Phil Collins Genesis at karaoke? No, but people always ask me to do that stuff. And you've you've never said yes? Huh? You've never said yes. Well, listen. Um, this is what I said. I met his daughter. He had a young daughter, and she said, um, "I represented them well in business." So, so father liked the song. My father, my father liked the song. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming.